And what is up guys? Welcome back to the Accelerate Yourself for another video. And I've got to say guys, I think we have found it. The holy grail of all Accelerate collections. I think we have found the biggest and most extensive Accelerate collection that there is out there. I could be wrong. Don't quote me on it, but I am like 95% sure that this is the best collection of accelerators you will see that we're going to be talking about today in this part of the collection review series. Now, the collection that we're going to be talking about today belongs to Ryan, who's been in the community for a long time, probably since the beginning. He's also probably one of the most knowledgeable people in the community. Whenever I have questions about something accelerators related, whether it's, you know, the Accelopedia, variations, um, sort of the release lines of certain cars. When I got my Gen 2 cars in, he helped me sort of decipher which ones were rare, which ones weren't as rare. He probably has an answer for you if you have just about any question related to accelerators and uh, you'll see him down in the comments from time to time so if you do have a question feel free to ask him and i'm sure he'll watch this video and uh, maybe he can get you an answer but naturally when he submitted his collection uh for review on the channel i learned pretty quickly that he was not just a wealth of information he also has an incredible accelerators collection one of the most extensive i have ever seen not just including you know highway 35 and accelerators but accelerators repaints of uh, track sets everything I'm not going to spoil the surprise but let's just talk a bit about his collection he's been collecting since 2005 um i think he said he collected 33 of the 36 cars back when they were in retail which is pretty impressive honestly because i never even saw probably the more rare 18 cars i never even saw them on shelves but uh he was collecting he did collect 33 out of the 36 i think the three he said that he didn't get i'm probably not gonna remember i want to say it was chicane pile driver and one more Ooh, i'm not gonna remember what it was off the top of my head but uh, it was another pretty rare car, I want to say. But he did manage to find all those on eBay and, you know, other online sites, probably for about $20, I think he said, uh, over the next year or two after the accelerators left retail. But since then, he's just sort of been continuing to collect. Um, he just, man, what in it? You know what? Let's just go ahead and take a look at Ryan's collection because words can't really describe it. So right off the bat, starting off strong, we have a full loose mint set of all 35 Highway 35 World Race cars. And we have the World Race car carrying case in the background. This is just the beginning. Then moving on, we have four track sets from the Highway 35 series. We have the Ultimate track set, which is the bad boy that everybody wants. Then we have the Power Raceway, the Greatest Challenge, and the Greatest Crash set. Um, the Greatest Crash one was the Dune Rats one, I believe. And then the Greatest Challenge one was the Street Brute, if I remember correctly. Then we have the four cars that are in front of them. I'm assuming those came with the track sets. I'm not 100% sure. I don't know everything about these track sets, but I would definitely love to get the Ultimate track set one day. That's for sure. Continuing on, it just gets better. We have a full factory set of all 35 World Race cars, including the exclusive Z36 that is 1 in 1,000, I believe. It's either 1 in 1,000 or 1 in 10,000. I don't remember off the top of my head. But this is his sealed Highway 35 collection. We have the full set, the Zamax set, two Toy Fair cars down at the bottom. Then we have a couple of the movie two-packs, and it looks like the collector set in the back right corner. And here's a closer look at the two Toy Fair cars and the Zamax set. Um, that... Toy Fair Dior 2 car is definitely one of my favorite models of all time. It just has an incredible paint job on it. And I definitely think that a factory set of war race cars is something I'll be looking to acquire in the future if possible, if I can find one for a decent price, because uh, that Z36 is gorgeous. Then transitioning from Highway 35 to Accelerators, right off the bat, we have a full set of all 246 Accelerators cards in mint condition. These are all packed fresh cards, plus he has a ton of duplicate cards in the background that are spread out. He has the starter set case and the synchro. And I want to say those boxes in the back left corner are from booster packs back in the day when uh, they used to ship them in cases of 12. I could be wrong. though. He might have to correct me in the comments section. But a full set of 246 cards, that is an unbelievable feat. And then, of course, this is the picture that will make all the card collectors scream. It's got all 10 3D foil cards laid out, plus two jump jets, as if one wasn't enough. We have two jump jets cards. This is a lot of money in this picture right here, that's for sure. Continuing on, he has all four movies, the Accelerator soundtrack, a world race movie, and the three Hyperpod exclusive movies. And boom, here we are. We have a full loose mint set of Accelerator's cars, all 36 cars here. Love the arrangement on them. They look absolutely incredible. And here's another angle on them. I really just love this shot. The Flathead Fury, the Pile Driver, the Chicane. They just look amazing. These cars really do stand out to me amongst all other Hot Wheels as far as the, uh, the decals and the paint schemes on them. And as if the loose mint set of accelerators cars wasn't enough, we have a full set of all 36 carded accelerators. Here's the Teku ones. We've got the Reverb, Chicane, and Spectite. And of course, we also have the Metal Maniacs. We got the Pile Driver, the Flight Fury, gorgeous, gorgeous cars. For some reason, the photo that he sent me of all 36 in one picture was really blurry. I could not get that picture to, to work with my computer. So we're just going to be showing them individually. 
And then of course we have the silencer set. I've got to say the silencer set probably would have to be the cheapest of the uh, the four different team sets to complete, in my opinion, these days, just because there's no single chase silencer that's worth, you know, a hundred bucks or $200. And wrapping up the full set of Acceleracer's cars, we have the drones, RDO5, RDO8, RDO9, beautiful, beautiful cars. So a full set loose mint of Highway 35 cars and Accelerators cars. And then he also has the carded set of Accelerators and a full set of Highway 35 cars that are in the uh, the factory sealed set. And it just keeps going. Here we have the Accelerodrome track set all put together. It looks incredible. This really brought back some childhood memories for me playing with this one. I think I destroyed mine. I played with it so much. And then in the background, we do have the Swamp Beast track set as well. And I know as a kid, I always wanted them to make a track set for every single realm. I thought that's what they were going to do, you know, make a storm realm one, a cavern realm. That would have been something that I definitely would have bought as a kid for sure. Then we have the three DLX hyperpods, the rocket socket, caterpillar crawler, and the climber hyperpod. And then we have the other three hyperpods, the ones that came with the movie. We have the carpoon dual driller hyperpod and the slam ram hyperpod with the sweeper in the back. What a great looking set of cars here. And in front of the hyperpods, we also have the hyperpod exclusive cars i believe i don't think these specific paint jobs were ever released with the cars by themselves i'm pretty sure you had to get them in the hyperpods so we have the sinister the shredster and i believe whip creamer was the other one and then in the top left we have the truck and transporter rd05 and i'm sure you guys saw this coming but we have a near complete loose mint set of the gen 2 accelerators cars there are a couple that are missing here i believe the strip metal power age the Excel Charged Anthracite, there might be one or two more missing, but it is very close to a complete set. And he has most of the heavy hitter cars like the Cosmic Realm Spectite, the Team Color Chicane, the Strip Metal Riveted, and the uh, the Realm RDO8 in the back. But never fear, he may not have a full set of the loose mint ones, but he has a full set of the carded Gen 2 Accelerators cars. Once again, the picture that had all of them in one picture, uh, I just could not get it to focus. So we're going to be showing them individually. So we have first with the Teku cars, we got the Cosmic Realm Spectite, the Strip Metal Power Rage, the Accelerators Battle Spec, beautiful, beautiful car models. And once again, I apologize for the lack of focus on this picture. Um, we have the Metal Maniacs and the Silencers cars. We have the Accelerators Pile Driver, the Strip Metal Riveted, the Team Colors Rolling Thunder, and then for the silencers, I see the Excel Charged Anthracite, the Team Colors Carbide, which is definitely a popular model. And to wrap up the Gen 2 carded set, we have the drone cars, which include the Strip Metal Riveted, the RDO8. I can't remember if it was Excel Charged or the Realm RDO8. I'm not sure. But we also have the RDO6 and the Team Colors RDO9. What an amazing set to have a full set of all Gen 2 accelerators cars. This set might honestly be more difficult to complete than the uh the 2005 acceleracer set but i'm not 100 percent sure moving on we have the two duracell edition cars the high voltage and the rdo3 these are very hard to find especially the high voltage and as if that wasn't enough we have all three of the adidas promo cars we have the power age the high voltage and the rdo5 i absolutely love the paint job on these cars that power age is absolutely beautiful and the collection would not be complete without a couple of customs from the man, the myth, the legend himself, Randy. We have the Metal Maniacs Roadrunner. We have the Teku Slingshot and the Teku Diora too. And then Ryan also has a prototype Technetium. These prototype cars are super cool. If you guys keep up with them on eBay, you know that they sell for a fortune. If you get the right one, they're always in high demand. They're very, very cool. And we are nowhere near done yet, guys. We have a full set of the McDonald's Edition Accelerators cars plus some duplicates. And then we have these. I'm assuming these are also McDonald's cars. Uh, I forgot to ask him about these. But uh, these are some very cool little track sets and cars. And then probably the real gem of Ryan's collection is his collection of Accelerators repaints. He has almost every single repaint of all 36 Accelerators cars that has ever been released. I think he said he might have been missing a few. And uh, there might be some that he doesn't know about, but for all intents and purposes, he has an almost complete set. And some of these are extremely hard to find, um, and their value is on par easily with a chicane or a spec type from the 05 Accelerator set. Uh, some of these cars were region exclusive, overseas, and very difficult to find. And I'm not going to go through every single group of repaints because this video is already going to be pretty long, but he does have almost a full set of repaints for every single car. I'm just going to be going through some of the rare ones that he pointed out to me so that I could give you guys some background info on for the video. So let's take a look at these battle specs in the front corner, the purple one. Uh, the purple battle spec was a very limited release overseas. To the left of that, the red one was a limited release in the UK. And then the blue one to the left of that was a very limited release in the Canada and Mexico, I believe. 
Moving on to the RDO fives, he said the yellowish green one in the front row um, was a very rare car that was released only overseas and uh, he had to get it imported from Greece and it cost him a fortune in shipping. Then he said the gray one to the right of it was only released in Latin America. So it is also extremely rare. And moving on to the RDO 8s, look at all these repaints, guys. I had no idea that some of these cars were re-released so many different times. He said the front left car in the bottom corner, this gold one down here, he said that this car was only released in Canada and people actually weren't even sure that it hit shelves because um, there were no pictures of it online. Nobody could figure out what it looked like. But uh, he said it was only released in Canada and in the 13 years that he's been collecting, he has never seen another one on eBay. So this is a extremely, extremely rare car. Moving on to the Octaniums in the front right corner, the dark blue Octanium, I believe that's the one that he said, along with the two beside of it, the two green ones, these were only available as part of an exclusive track set that was released in Target stores on Black Friday in 2009. That's the only way to get these cars. They are super, super rare. And there's a very similar story for a lot of these, like this green nitrium in the front left corner. He said it was another international exclusive release, and uh, he's never seen another one of these on eBay in all the years he's been collecting. So who really even knows how rare some of these cars are? Moving on to the anthracites, this translucent anthracite down in the bottom left. He said this car was Latin America only, and it took him forever to get it shipped into the U.S. He had a lot of issues getting it here because uh, he said it showed up finally covered in international tracking labels and uh, it kind of looked like he was trying to smuggle something across the border when he finally was able to get it. And then of course we have everybody's favorite repaint, Riveted. There's tons of these. He said the white Riveted down in the front row is uh, an international release exclusive Riveted. And once again, he has never seen another one of these on eBay. So a lot of these cars probably would easily outvalue some of, uh, some of the rarer Acceleracers cars which uh, I got to say is a surprise. I always used to kind of scoff at some of the repaint prices on eBay, but I never really knew that some of these were international only cars. It truly is an incredible collection to wrap it up. So hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing Ryan's collection. Absolutely incredible. I really hope that one day mine will look like that. I know I've got my wall of power up behind me and that is just like a drop in the bucket compared to what he has, honestly. But, um, but like I said, that's going to wrap it up for this video, guys. Once again, a huge shout out to Ryan for letting us review his collection for the video. And also, if you want your collection featured on the Accelerator Shop, I'm always taking submissions. I think we have two or three more that have already been submitted, probably maybe one or two more to do another video. Um, going to leave my email down in the description of the video. Shoot me an email with pictures of your collection. Make sure they are well lit, please. And, uh, sort of give me a little bit of background on yourself, you know, what you want to be called in the video and, um, sort of how long you've been collecting, what is your hardest item to find, so on and so forth. But uh, use Ryan's pictures as an example, see how uh, well lit they are, everything spaced out beautifully, tons of great pictures. But go submit your collection and see if we can get it featured on the Accelerators Hub for the next collection review series video. But that's gonna wrap it up for today, guys. As always, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the Accelerators Hub for more Accelerators related content. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys.